What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys Unreal Engine 5. Now, Epic Games released this trailer. It's a highlight trailer, and it's going over some of the stuff that they went over in their longer form trailer. And so I figured I'd play this, and maybe we could talk over it together, and I could just give you some insights on how this could benefit us as motion graphics artists. So let's get this started. I have the YouTube channel up right now. So yeah, they're saying everything was captured on a PlayStation 5 which before we get into it, I think a bullet point that most people are missing is the PlayStation 5 is actually ran on AMD technology. So the CPU and the GPU are both AMD, which means for us is that we could take advantage of this moving forward, no matter what CPU and no matter what GPU, it's all cross platform. So this is a huge plus for all of us that want to dive more into real time rendering, no matter what type of machine we have. Yeah, this looks really cool right here. Kind of reminds me of like Tomb Raider. So yeah, the Nanite, the virtualized geometry, basically right now with Unreal Engine 4, if you're making like some type of real time game or anything of that nature, you like if you go on the Quixel bridge, you notice that each one of the objects has an LOD level. And what that is, is you have an LOD level for a low polygon count. So stuff that's far off in the distance, we use like an LOD of five, but stuff that's in front of you will use like an LOD of zero or one. And the LOD zero one has a higher polygon count. But with this Nanite technology, we can actually use the cinematic models that they have there. So I know they were saying here, it has like millions of triangles, which is crazy. No longer do we have to, you know, like reduce the polygon count down just to kind of optimize the scene. I mean, you probably still have to optimize it to get it to run well, but this engine right here can handle a whole lot more. Yeah, so film quality assets, basically the high poly geometry. And it's all running at 8K textures, they were saying as well. And then no more need for normal maps. I know he was saying that he brought that model in directly from ZBrush. And so before, like I was saying, sometimes you'd have to take like your high polygon count texture, reduce the polygons down to be able to optimize the engine. But now he was saying at the top of the, the trailer here, he could actually take in like his high polygon count model just as he envisioned it bring it into Unreal Engine 5 and be able to have all that full detail in there and no normal maps at all. Like everything that you see there was all hand sculpted out. And then with the new lemon system, basically all the lighting in here is 100% real. And so no longer do we have to bake our lighting to be able to optimize it for our scene. Whenever we drop a light into our scene, what we see is what we're going to physically get. And so no more baking the lighting. We're going to get physically accurate lighting every time we drop a light in here. You can see the dust particles reacting and we're getting some nice shadows in here as well. So this is all done, I believe, with the chaos system for how we have the different objects falling off. And then the Niagara particle system, we actually have access to that now in Unreal version 4.25. Sorry about that, I was watching this. Yeah, so the flock in there, that was all done with the Niagara particle system as well. So yeah, these are, I can't wait to play the next Tomb Raider game. I know everybody was saying Uncharted, but I mean, this reminds me of Tomb Raider to the fullest. So you never know as motion graphics artists, I mean, this opens up a ton of possibilities for us, not only for whenever we're working on a campaign, if we have all of our assets already built out, we can bring them into Unreal Engine for our traditional rendering of, you know, 2D on a screen and like 4K or 1080p. But also we could, we could leverage that to our clients as well as saying, hey, we have this stuff already built in Unreal Engine why not make an interactive experience as well? So say like you're doing a campaign for Nike or something of that nature, you know, you do your, your, your cool 30 second spot. And then it's like, Hey, we already have this stuff built now real. What if we do an AR experience since we have all the assets that we need in there? Or what if we did like a VR experience, you know, like taking you through the gallery of the shoes and stuff of that nature. And so this just opens up a whole lot of possibilities of what could be done. So I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys. Unreal 5 has been a talk of the morning. Like I've been getting a gang of messages from everybody I know on social media 
people have been text messaging me like, hey, did you see this? So, I mean, a lot of people are really excited, which is cool because I'm actually working on a training course with the guys at MoGraph.com right now. And then I'm going to be doing some articles with School of Motion as well. So make sure you check back for both of those. And as always, keep creating, stay fresh, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care.